<laughs> what are they, what are they, what, you know, look at another, prophets are also not just agents of expansion, you know, once you have a prophet in your life, you know, whatever you need, whatever you need to the ministry of the prophet, it can be supplied. Hello, somebody. Prophets bring about national deliverance. Somebody say national deliverance. National deliverance. Which for, could also be personal deliverance in your life. Oh yes. National deliverance and personal, personal deliverance. <laughs> People sometimes mock prophets. Prophet come to prophesy. Say, oh, he didn't come to pass. They are mocking the prophet. Then the people begin to suffer. Even the, even the nation begin to suffer. Oh yeah. <laughs> in 2 Kings chapter 7, verse 1 to 2, there was great famine in the land. Great famine. And Elisha said, Hear the word of the Lord. Don't say the Lord. Tomorrow, about this time, shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shikel, and two measures of barley for a shikel in the gate of Samaria. He's saying there's going to be a 24 hour turnaround. My God. 24 hours turnaround. In the midst of great national famine, disaster. In fact, you're going to know how bad it is that the intellectual there, the one of the ministers or secretary of something, says, even if God will open the windows in heaven, can this thing? That, means, that is to tell you how bad it was. But the prophet came to prophesy, don't see the Lord. Don't see the Lord. In 24 hours, it's going to change. Yeah. You know, turn around. That's why, by the grace of God, our turn around conference is coming. Like the turnaround Monday, God told me turnaround conference. Every year we have turnaround conference. February, we're going to have it at the end of the month. That's a turnaround conference that turns everything around. We've never had a better last year. Anyone in connected to this ministry who connects with the turnaround conference has never had a better last year. If you connect, Amen. something will change in your life dramatically. You can't explain. You can't explain. Oh, yes. <laughs> Powerful man blowing things that God will suddenly, you know, just escalate his goodness in our lives mm. by the turnaround grace when it is prophesied. Amen. But people will believe it, receive it, and people will be suffering after that. And they can never, and I told you, I said, they can never trace. They can because whenever God makes solution for people, if people don't connect, they cannot tell. You know, people will get to heaven. When I pray, most of when I see people on the street, if I go evangelizing, one of the things I tell people is they say, you need God. Say, oh, I'm good. I say, oh, you are not really good. If you, if you know the things that God has prepared for you, he said, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not even entered the heart of men what God has prepared for them that love him. Oh, yes. Eyes have not seen. I was saying I was good when I was doing my secular business. And I was in a place in part of, you know, Nigeria, in the northern part, where they kill Christians for free, you know. Destroy property and anything. And I thought I was good doing that. But God has a great plan for me. And I never even knew. I thought it was okay. You see, so that's how. If you, Looking back, I can say, oh, thank God. I yielded to the prophetic counsel. If I never yielded, I would never have been able to imagine the kind of blessings. Yeah. The kind of blessings. I was traveling. Uh, we were traveling. I think when it was in, when we were traveling, I can't remember the day now. As we were traveling, a guy met me at the airport. A guy met me. He just saw me at the airport, and he said something. He made a compliment about something, and I said, "Oh wow!" Then he came back to me again. I said, "Are you a minister?" And oh. he never met me before. I said, "Yes." He said, "Please, can you pray for one of my friends?" I want to give you a story, but I heard the person say, and we agreed a prayer. He said, that's Matthew 18, 19. <laughs> Two of us agreed. I told him, he was a believer, but he was able to pass. I never met him before. I've never met him before. You know, and I saw something that, you know, something that he did. I'm like, how could that have happened if it wasn't God that placed me, you know, because God placed in strategic position for many things, not even for yourself. For many, I never. I, I, it was in the it was, it was, uh, what's it called train. We're going to our gate, so we entered the train, 
I don't know anything about him. He just he just compliments something and I just smile, say thank you. And he came back again and he sat by me and said, Are you a minister? I said, yes, I can tell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what can you tell? I was in nothing. I was so casual. I'm like, what can you tell? But he said, please. What I'm saying is that God has ways. Mm -hmm. And God's ways are supernatural. May, may we receive grace to Amen. connect with the ways of God. 